Hey guys, Ironics Media here and in today's video I'm going to give you some starter pack tips that you are going to need when creating YouTube videos. Now I'm mainly going to focus on the gear that you are going to need and I'll still also mention some other tips that you need to know when you are content creating. And with, for those guys who are out there who maybe want to start content creation, sit back, relax and this video might help you somewhere in your life so let's start the video now in creating youtube content the first thing that you will need is a youtube channel and how do you get it all you need is basically a youtube account or basically a gmail account in other words and the google account that you will create will also be your youtube account name as well when you create the account the youtube account name will reflect the name that you created in your email creation process so let's say your email account name is really ironic uh, that will also be your youtube account name as well as your youtube channel name and you can also you can always change the name later if you want to if you want if you want to maybe change the name to the name that you want you can always create later on from here you can upload the profile photo that you want also the background art just like we do on your facebook account and other types of social media the next thing you are going to need is a studio or in other words a place where you can record your content this studio can either be a place let's say even a place can be anywhere be it your living room your bedroom outside your house it also it always depends on the kind of content that you want to convey but despite all that there are some basic equipments that you are going to always require when you are creating a youtube channel and one of them is obvious a camera now the camera that you are always going to need may vary from either your smartphone camera dslr camera or even that hd scene camera that is kama umiomoka and the good thing is that you don't need expensive stuff so it doesn't matter how expensive your phone is or how cheap your phone is all it needs to have is at least a medium quality let's say 360 pixels you can first start with what you have let's say you have a smartphone no matter what type unless sasa tuseme labda uko na mulika mwizi which obviously cannot basically all it needs to have is clear enough camera enough storage capacity and also enough battery because you are going to record this video for a while and you don't know whether you are going to take some hours or minutes so it's better to check on also the the battery that you have and to some extent enough ram so that your phone operation activities may not lag you behind now if you have enough cash and want a quality smartphone camera i would highly recommend you go and look for a oppo device that suits your budget let's say an oppo a3s which if i'm not wrong goes for around 12000 if i'm not wrong and i'm sure base in endelea na kushuka one thing i like about oppo is that their phones have good quality cameras with clean pixels you can also check for an oppo a5s an oppo a15 up to the latest oppo we have which is the oppo reno 5a other models like techno maybe nokia redmi huawei although i wouldn't recommend it due to the recent ban in the us you can also check them out on jumia and see the one that suits your budget once you've bought the phone and when shooting the video there are a couple of tips that i'd like to mention when using the when using a smartphone i would highly recommend that you use a back the back camera this is because uh, most of our phones have a superior back camera and it always has the better quality than the front camera so in terms of quality i would highly recommend that you use the back camera but in some cases you will find that the selfie camera will also have a quite a good quality and so you can always use the selfie camera as well but the back camera will always remain superior 
and if you're using the selfie camera one thing i would recommend is that you fix your eyes on the lens but not on the screen this is one of uh, the usual mistakes that most people do instead of looking at the lens they look at the screen because they want to see themselves on the screen and they are always wondering uh, how, how how the hell do I look I mean is the background okay is the is my face okay I understand but once you start recording fix your eyes and pupils on the lens but not on the screen and this way you'll have a better eye contact with the audience and so you won't have those weird videos as if you are talking to a camera that is on this side. The next thing you need to check is your audio. Now when recording a video, most of you will always use or start with the inbuilt mic on your device. And it's a good idea if you are audible enough and if the environment that you are in is quiet enough and doesn't have too much noise and your audio will still have a good quality. But if that's not the case, you may want to opt for an external microphone. If you are on a budget, you can always opt and go and look for a lapel mic that, like the one I'm using. This model is called the Boya BYM1. It's a very good mic. It's the one I've been using in my previous videos. You can check it out on Jumia and like for example, this one I bought it at 2300 shillings and it wasn't that costly, but you can also go and check it, check it out on Jumia and see if there are other dealers who have uh, maybe a lower price or even a better quality one and it works on both cameras and smartphones whether you are using Android or iPhone. You can also look for another one called the Rode Smart Love, another one called iRig and the good thing the other good thing about these microphones is that they have a six meter long cable and therefore you can do a video from a far distance and it's not going to have any problem it's still going to work properly the other thing i would recommend when looking for these types of lapel microphones is that look for the one which has a battery or this kind of it has this kind of a part i have worked with a lapel mic which didn't have a battery at the middle of the cable and let me say sequence i didn't know very well whether there was something wrong with my phone or my camera but it didn't work for me so i would highly recommend that you look for these they may be expensive a bit but trust me the quality is awesome now if you still feel that this is expensive much uh, you can always opt to use the headphones uh, microphone like now this one over here these are my personal headphones that i use to either listen to music or do such kind of stuff and you just need to place this part somewhere around your chest and it's going to record the audio that you want and it's not going to give you that much of great quality but trust me it's something that is going to help you out there it's the one i've been using when i started this youtube channel i've been using this microphone over here for <laughs> for the headphones the only problem and challenge that made me stop using it is because whenever you are recording a video it's like a cow which has been which has been tethered which is being tethered during zero grazing so you are just there and you are stranded and you can't even move freely like I'm doing right now so let me say these ones are a great help so I highly recommend the lapel mics because they are long enough and therefore you can move freely with them and do whatever you kind of content you want uh, apart from this one but you can also use this one if you still feel kunakitu uh, any that pinch of money so these ones are just 200 bob so you, you can't feel the pinch the next important thing that you need to check on and one of the biggest challenges in video recording is lighting when recording you obviously need to consider the clarity of your videos and therefore you don't want your videos to end up like you recorded in a hollow basement or maybe one of those dark terrorist videos. This is a message to all American infidels. Prepare to die in a sea of holy fire. When it comes to lighting, it basically all depends on the environment and time that you are in. 
If it's during the day, you are obviously not going to require a lot of lighting because you are just going to locate yourself somewhere that you can get natural light, be it through your window. If it's at night, you may opt to use the normal bulb in your house, but still you will find that some environments will require some very special lighting and not just the normal bulbs that are always out there. So there are many ways of handling lighting and you can opt to buy some lighting equipment like the light strobes, ring light or even the, nat that the normal bulbs that you use in your house. I would highly recommend a ring light because it's cheaper than the advanced lighting equipment and it's also going to give you an easy time to set up and it's also easy to use. If you still find it expensive, it's not the end of the world. I mean, you're going to be amazed what I use in my videos. So this is actually what I use for my in, in lighting when it comes to my videos. It's just a normal bulb, see? Just a normal bulb, a bulb holder, a one meter cable, power cable that is, and a fuse for connecting it to the extension. So what I've done here is that Lienda uh, Tunica buy a bulb, 50 bob, a uh, bulb holder which is another 50 bob, one meter cable I think, yeah I bought it at 10 bob, this one meter cable I bought it at 10 bob, and now the next thing, <sighs> the next thing is this which is the plug itself, a three pin plug which is also 50 bob so that adds up to say one 160 yeah 160 just with just 160 i was able to make something like this on my own and if you are a good man in electricity you can go ahead and make something like this for yourself uh, my extension is quite uh, stubborn but see there you go uh, it's if if uh, if I want to maybe try to reduce the brightness because of my eyes, I'll just place a white sheet of paper in front of it, and I just place it in front up here, and I'm good to go. Yeah, simple as that. And in lighting, I would also recommend adjusting your camera settings to the optimum level that can be able to uh, give you that quality image. For instance, the exposure, ISO, and also the lens focus. One of the greatest enemy of video recording is something we call auto focus. Be sure to turn that off and use manual focus instead. When using manual focus, if you want to your lens to adjust and focus on something specific, you just tap on where the object is on your screen and it will stick there until you tap elsewhere. The reason I insist on turning off the autofocus is because your videos will end up something like this. You see this video is kind of uh, it is kind of focusing and then focusing off focusing and then focusing off and it doesn't have stable focusing and therefore you are going to find that your video is kind of flickering ama inaka nika inatetemeka inaka nika inaona inaka nika zima so always use the manual focus whether be it on your camera or be it on your phone the exposure and iso deal with the video brightness so you can increase or decrease the values according to the level that you want and according to the environment that you are in. The other thing you may consider is a stand for your for holding your recording device. You may not always get someone to hold the camera for you and therefore you need a holder for your phone. Now you can opt to improvise a stand for your phone or even hold your phone with your hand uh, if you are doing it for a short period of time or still make a stand on your own like this one over here. I mean, look at it, it's very simple. All you need is a bottle and rubber band and you're good to go. And again, if you still have enough cash, you can go out there on the online platforms or even in your nearest shop and look for an amazing phone stand 
or camera stand that is in the market which will suit your budget now the last things that you are going to need is an editing software and a pc or still a smartphone your videos will not always come out perfect and therefore to remove some errors or add some enticing features on or effects on your video you'll need a software to edit and a device to help you do it be it on your smartphone be it on your computer you can still do it anywhere now there are applications out there for pcs and smartphones that can enable you to edit your videos for smartphones i would recommend applications like filmora in short kinemaster or if I pronounced it correctly, Kindmaster is also another one. Uh, Viva Video is also another good one. I have a friend who uses it and it has some, uh, some features. And these are available on both Android and iOS. If you have a computer or laptop, you can check out Filmora for PC. And I'll highly recommend this one because it's easier to use if you are a beginner in video editing. Magix Movie Edit Pro is also another one. I have a friend who uses it also and it's quite good. And you can also go for Vegas Pro. It's another one that still works properly. Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the most highly recommended softwares out there. In fact, the only reason I don't use it is because my computer is way too slow. So uh, I need to do some upgrade on it. But I highly recommend that one if you are an experienced user in terms of video editing. For Mac OS users who are out there, you can check out Apple iMovies. It's another good one that is suited for Mac OS computers. Then there is also Filmora for, uh, there's a Filmora version for Mac. You can check it out later. And the best one I can say for Mac OS, just like we have the Adobe Premiere Pro, which is good for Windows, I can say for Mac OS, the best one is the Final Cut Pro software. Now in future, I'm intending to do a tutorial on Filmora. That is, I'm doing this tutorial for beginners who are out there and don't know about video editing or something like that. So I'll be posting a video and I'll make sure I, uh, after the video is ready, I'm going to post a card up here. Yeah, that is going to show you and direct you to how to edit your videos. Now in this tutorial, I'm not only going to show you how to edit your videos on your computer, but also on your smartphone. So be sure to check it out once I upload it. I'll make sure I notify you. I'm sure you're going to see a notification if you have subscribed to my channel. Now, I hope I have helped those guys out there who want to start making YouTube content or YouTube videos or even post your videos, posting your videos on social media, on other platforms. And if you still, if also do, if you still also do videography, I'm sure some tips that are mentioned in this video will also help you in one way or the other. So if you have liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to leave a comment if you have any suggestion or any opinion on my videos. And thank you so much for watching. And one thing I'd like to say before I finish is that if you want to start making YouTube content, start with what you have. Start now. Don't mind about uh, start kuenda kutafta TV too expensive ama vitu some very expensive gadgets of some very expensive softwares which are out there start with what you have if at all the content is relevant and uh, somehow clear we are going to understand and therefore it doesn't matter if you have low end phone that is unless kama ukona mulika mwizi that one now we can say apana but if you have a smartphone you can even start now even after seeing this video make sure you start recording right now so again thank you so much for watching this video and it's been really ironics make sure you don't forget to subscribe down there or else i'm going to do something very uh, <laughs> very weird but anyway i'm just kidding thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video